First and foremost, I want to say call Halalim, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect. The Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth is sincerity and truth. Presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice. All right. Shalom to the Aqua, the very few sisters that do listen to us as well. All right. This is a brother, and a brother here, Amari, from the Great Millstone, Chicago County. And basically, I'm just coming to you with another lesson. You know, I was watching a couple news. Um, to, you know, I'm not the geopolitical brother, you know. But, um, you know, the scriptures do tell you to be occupied in prophecies, man. And we see the signs happening in our face, you know, brothers post videos here and there, you know, with things going on. And I was just watching this dude, Christopher Green, and, and, and you can tell, you know, he went into um, this thing going on with Iran. You know, you can look it up with the oil thing. And um, these insiders, you know, they, they watch our videos, whether it be the Christopher Greens, I think that's his name, the Dabu Sevens, the Alex Jones, all, all these guys, you know. I'm, like I said, I'm not a geopolitical brother. I don't, I don't get into that shit. I, I mean, I get it here and there, but, but you know, hey, look, I know the end game is how about Shimmy how is going to deliver the elect and, and wipe this place the fuck out, all right? And I know that this man is falling daily, you know, so um, me personally, that's just not my thing, you know. But, um, hey, nevertheless, man, these people actually know the scripture, the scripture tell us that the demons, the devils believe in what? And do tremble, all right? And a couple of those guys, you know, those selective insiders and shit, they might look like Edomites, but their line, you know, could go back to being an Israelite. Nevertheless, there will be no loopholes, man. You know, all these people want to weigh out, you know, for the elect of Israel, and Israel consists of the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and our seed that's been scattered abroad that may look like the other nations, but they can adhere to this truth and, and the whole truth, you know. The scripture says that our spirit bear record, you know, with the spirit that we are the sons of the Most High. But nevertheless, man, I'm just get right into it, man. Because there is no way of escaping this judgment, man. When the Lord put Israel in slavery, the apple of his eye, when he, he turned his back from us, all right, and, 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 and let you double show y'all ass, it wasn't no way that we could escape that, man. And the perils, the said perils that's about to happen to this place, hey, man, they, 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 there will be blood, man. Hey, like that dude George Missivall say, man, it, it, this is the super necessary, man. Okay? This is Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old both prophesied prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet would prophesy of peace. When the word of that prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. And you got all these Negroes out here, punch, hook, drunk, sink, you know, punch, line, and sinking off this, um, this Christianity, this prosperity doctrine. You know, this this ideology that um this this captivity that we are in is, is gonna go on, you know, trying to refresh Christianity and all that BS that's been forced upon us by by Esau, you know, and that's not gonna happen because they are not prophets. But we see the RFID chip coming, you know, which is alluding to the end. We see World War Three brewing, which is alluded to the end. We see chaos, man. It's gonna be famines, it's gonna be wars, it's gonna be race wars, it's gonna be class wars. It's going to be all kinds of sedentious uh, in, in these streets, all right? And that's what Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai said to happen. And he said it. He said what? In Amos 3 and 6, surely the Lord Yahweh doeth nothing except he reveal his secrets to whom his servants, the prophets. So the Lord has gave the, 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 the guide to his men to get out here and preach it. I'm going to read this again because that's what's coming. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and have been before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms and of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what's said to happen. This has to usher in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because this place has to be purged. Matter of fact, hey, it tells you in the book of Revelations what? The third world coming quickly. The third world coming. 
And that's the third world's war, man, which is going to usher in the kingdom of heaven. Since I said that, I'm going to go to my favorite scripture alluding to that. This is 2 Ezra 4 and verse 28. It says, But concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. And therefore that which is sown be turned, be not turned upside down. And if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then can it not then cannot it come that be sown with good. Alright? And the evil is sown in this place, man. The evil is sown in this place, man. The men think they women, the women think they men, the children think they're adults, the adults behave like children. Everybody hates each other. The Israelites hate each other. We uphold the heathens. We glorify in their standards. You know, what did Yahweh Shah say when he quoted out of the book of Isaiah? That fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is not mocked. He's not going to be an all for you all bootleg family, so called family orientated Israelites. Hey, because if you was really a family, Orientated Israelite, you will handle your business for your how about shimmy how shy full speed and hope you be delivered, man. Not prancing around in some fancy garments with some bitches. The scriptures say a shameless woman shall be accounted as a dog with some bitches and some head wraps, man. Trying to trying to revive the black community, putting this black community spin on the nation of Israel. That bullshit, man. The most high ain't finna pour sugar on shit and say it's a sandwich. No, he's going to destroy this shit. And if you motherfuckers don't like how I'm speaking, change the fucking channel. Straight up, man. Let but, man, you know, it's going to be chaos out here, man. And your how about Shimmy how shy has to turn this place upside down. But it's being said of the prophets. So the elect has a time of repentance, and the door of repentance is surely closing, man. You know, some Indiana Jones 007 slider under the door type shit, man. It's getting tight. This is Amos 3 and 6. It says, Salakia, this is Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? And that's why we are one of court, all right, in this brotherhood, man. We are one of court. No, everybody don't like each other. Everybody ain't everybody goddamn friend in the camp. Well, you you have some brothers that do like, you actually like all the brothers. I ain't that type of brother, but hey, man, you know, we all love each other as brothers. We ain't looking and they ain't after each other's wife. You know, we hold each other down physically, spiritually, financially. We're brothers, man, and we have one accord in the brotherhood as far as that's concerned, you know. We don't have to go to every goddamn restaurant together eating, eating burgers and shit, you know. No, the brotherhood is about being of one accord, though, man. So we ain't, and we ain't, we ain't in agreements with the philosophies of this world, man. We don't want no parts of it. All right, verse four, it says, "Will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing?" Can a bird or a snail fall upon the earth where there is no gem for him? Shall one take up a snail from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Hey, none of the things that the Lord orchestrates is going to be uh, um, in vain, so to speak. All right, the Lord ain't, ain't finna do no, no, no bogus shit, you know. His words are not void, and he's not mocked. He's going to pay everybody back for everything. Let me get to the point. This is verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not be afraid? Shall there be an evil in the city, and Yahweh have not done it? Surely Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And his secrets, one of his biggest secrets, is that he's going to gather, he's gathered the nation of Israel, all right? It says in the scripture, I will set them in order. Uh, uh, before their eyes, and we're being set in order, all right? The two sticks are being brought together, all right? The northern and the southern kingdom of Israel, because once again, this is not a black thing. We don't associate ourselves with anything called black or nothing nothing that's catered toward that derogatory statement and that, that, that social engineering that was placed upon us, all right? 
we we are brown colored people and we are the native the, the so-called blacks the so-called latinos and the so-called native americans make up the nation of israel that's being gathered that's prophecy the lord revealed that to us we're being gathered before the eyes of our enemy to be delivered man and for this place to be condemned and there's going to be no loopholes when this place is condemned all right you ain't gonna run from this judgment I, I think it's in Amos. It said it's, it, it'd be if a man ran from a lion and a bear met him, man. This shit going down, man. This is Isaiah 13 and 1. It said, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. All right? And, and that's what happened. And I'm going to jump down. You know, and I'm going to just get to the main points because Babylon, Mystery Babylon, the greatest America, man. And everybody knows that. All right? It's like that song that Brother Yuan always quote, everybody knows. It's true, man. This is Amos Salaki, Isaiah 13 and 14. So, Salaki, Isaiah 13 and 13. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall move out of her place. And the wrath of the Lord and the day of his fierce anger. And that's going to happen, man. All right. Now, now, now spiritually, these, these rulers, all right, these people that sit in the high places are being shaken up. Because they see the elect being manifested. But this earth is going to really, literally wheel to and fro, man. It's going to wheel to and fro, man. That's what it's really going into, man. It's going to wheel to and fro, man. All right, this place is going to be rocked with ICBM missiles, according to the prophets. And that's another great mystery that the Lord is revealing, another great secret. All right. It said, and it shall be as a chaste road, as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one to his own land. A rush even gave back that call a couple years ago that all the people doing business over there should come back home, man. All the Arabs getting their money. They look sad, nigga. Gas station money, and they hopping their ass on flights and going there. Oh, and you, and also people are clicking up. They going back. The China man gonna ride with the China man. The Arab gonna ride with the Arab. Hey, that's why it's good and vital for you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, to be together and to know who you are and know our power is Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, none else. All right. It says, um. And it shall be as a chaste road, verse 14. And it shall be as a chaste road that no man taketh up, and that they shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. And every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined to them shall fall by the sword. And that's true, man. All you Negroes and Latinos and, and men of Native American descent and women of Native American descent, you know, clicking up, get joining to the U.S. military, man. Following out the ideologies of Esau, man. The, 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 your tormentors with that Stockholm Syndrome, man. And you're going to be destroyed in the Third World's War. You're going to be destroyed when this famine comes, man. Because ain't no loopholes, man. You ain't buying no goddamn gold, Esau. You know, your silver and your gold ain't going to escape you, man. I mean, it ain't going to help you escape, man. That's stored up, but righteousness delivered from wrath. And ain't no righteousness in the Edomites, man. And the two-thirds of Israel that's been selected to be destroyed, ain't no righteousness in the pieces of shit either, man. How about Shemel and Shirat I'm not one of them. All right? It says, Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined to them shall fall by the sword. Their children shall be dashed in pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. So these great calamities... That said the Lord, that said the Bible, this is the truth. This ain't hate speech. This is a moth. This is the truth. This is the Bible. This is the Bible that's been taken from you. All right? This is your heritage that's been taken from you. And you were murdered if you were found reading this Bible. But then you were force-fed Christianity. This is us. All right? This is for us. And we're preaching this because salvation comes from this. There's no salvation in any other book, man. Isaiah 8 and 20. It said, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, and they shall not regard silver, and as for their gold, they shall not delight in it. So you dudes like Christopher Green, man, hey, hey you can fucking kick it out the door, man. Hey, them Russians, they ain't gonna accept that. Them Iranians, they ain't gonna accept that. Alright? Hey, even these other nations, none of these other nations that got their missiles, 
aim toward this place, so to speak, is going to accept that, man. Their bows, which is their ICB and missiles, shall dash the young men in pieces. They shall have no pity of the fruit of the womb, and their eyes shall not spare them. Salaki, and their eyes shall not spare their children. All right, I'm going to go to 14 and 21. And uh, I'm going to just end it with that. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So slaughter is being prepared for, for, for he who destroyed, him who destroyed the earth, as it says in the book of Revelations, all right? As it says in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where who is he? As it says in Habakkuk 2 and 5, man. He's a proud man, need to keep it at home, but gathered all nations to himself, man. Who is that, man? Who mocked the most high? Who said he was God? We don't have to throw up the um the, the classification of the black thing or the white thing or the engineering of the black thing and the white thing. Because it's really a brown thing and a, and a, and a, and a, and a red thing. It's really an Israelite thing and an Edomite thing, man. We know who did what to who, man, and, and who the hell got to pay for it, man. The table turning, man. Hey, this is the other side of manifest destiny, man. Hey, this place is going to be destroyed, man. And uh, most high through the spirit and power of your house, Shai is going to set up the elect. And this ain't the goddamn thing you people can do about it, man. Shalom.